Hello, welcome to this video lesson on the poem Dance of the Eunuchs written by Kamala Das. Generally, we don't write or talk about the eunuchs in our day to day life. But in 1965 itself, Kamala Das has written a poem on the plight of eunuchs. Kamala Das' original name is Madhavi Kuti. She is also known as Kamala Suraya. This poem, Dance of the Eunuchs, is included in her anthology of poems somewhere in Calcutta, published in the year 1965. Dance of the Eunuchs is a symbolic poem. The poet feels that she is a victim of patriarchal society. The eunuchs are also victims of social norms. The society does not treat them as normal human beings. Thus, the poet identifies her plight with the plight of the transgenders. When the eunuchs came to dance, the weather was very hot. Even nature was against them. It does not provide them a conducive atmosphere to dance. The eunuchs dance like mad people with their long braids flying and the dark eyes flashing and they danced till they blinked. As far as the appearance of the eunuchs is concerned, they had green tattoos on their cheeks and the jasmines on their hand. Their faces were harsh and their songs melancholic. Their melancholic songs are about dying lovers and unborn children. Their sorry breasts suggest their sterility and barrenness as they do not belong to either sex. The phrase right in vacant ecstasy denotes the emotional vacuity of both the poet and the transgenders. There is no real joy in their dance or in their life. Their limbs look like half burned logs from the funeral pyre and their body looked dry and rotten. This shows that the transgenders do not take care of themselves and they live in unhygienic and pathetic conditions without even the basic necessities of life. Their dance is not considered to be dance at all. Their dance is full of irregular movements and their dance is termed as convulsions. Even the crows and the children watched the convulsions of these poor creatures with no interest or sympathy. The last two lines tell the depressed and the dejected mental state of Kamala Das. Meager rain that smelt of dust in her teeth and the urine of lizards and mice stand for those feelings that are considered to be taboos that cannot be expressed in public. Kamala Das boldly brings out those feelings, challenging the conventions of the society and breaking the barriers built by these age-old conventions. Throughout the poem and through many symbols, the poet compares her condition with that of the eunuchs. Like the eunuchs, she feels that she is looked down upon by the patriarchal society. She may seem to be enjoying her life by her outward appearance, but inwardly she is lonely, unhappy and living a meaningless life. Here, Kamala Das successfully pictures the contrast between the superficial joy and the inner depravity. Thus, the poet expresses her frustration in love through the barren and unproductive life of the eunuchs. As in the life of eunuchs, Kamala Das' sexual experiences failed to satisfy her emotional needs, though it satisfied her sexual demands. Eunuchs are the objective correlative of the suppressed desires of Kamala Das.